ladies and gentlemen hey hi how you doing welcome back to the channel thank you so much for stopping by we are now coming up on the launch of season two and the end of season one as we know season one was initially supposed to come to a close this past week but they ended up delaying it with one goal in mind fixing the game they basically said hey we're delaying season two in this extra time we're gonna be putting a lot of effort into improving the overall quality of life the general experience on console just overall they wanted to make a lot of fixes and have these fixes done and ready for season two and today we're looking at all the big changes the game changing and game fixing updates that they are currently planning for at least at the latest ideally the next seasonal launch so as we cover it all if you enjoy the video at any point let me know by dropping a like on it and of course if you're new to the channel or if you have not already subscribed around 58 percent of viewers watching are not subbed yet and every single day i got you covered with all things going on in cod news updates loadouts tips you name it it is right here so feel free to subscribe with your notifications turned on so real quick i do want to reiterate their initial like uh delay announcement for season two where they basically go in and say uh to date we've deployed a number of of updates but more needs to be done for this reason we've decided to reschedule the start of season two across warzone and vanguard to february 14th we're going to use this additional development time to deliver updates including optimizations to gameplay game balancing to fix game stability and bugs and to ensure an overall level of polish to improve the experience for players across vanguard warzone pacific cold war and modern warfare so that being said, the season two update now has very high expectations for quality of life fixes and gameplay updates that are going to drastically improve everyone's experience, whether you're on PC where things are relatively smooth, but there are still some issues or console, either generation that have a series of issues that is extremely, extremely lengthy at this point. Now, when it comes to what we can expect for season two, that is where we turn to the Trello board, which has a new series of issues listed. These are the main things, not every single thing, but the main things that they are working on to fix between this point in time when you guys are watching this video, and then also the season two update. We still do have a couple of weekly updates left before season two drops. And in that time, we could very well see a handful of these things mentioned on the Trello board updated and fixed in game to help out with the overall stability but the very latest I would say season two is when we expect the vast majority of these things to be updated first things first though I do want to start off with one of these major things that they have just recently actually fixed and that is the issue where Xbox Live players who are not subscribed to Xbox Live Gold were unable to play Warzone that is essentially the Gold Flake issue they stated on the Trello board or at least updated on the Trello board and moved this from an issue that they were investigating to a fix released now, I don't believe they ever officially talked about this in the patch notes, but it was fixed here. And I've also seen some reports over on Twitter of players no longer running into that gold flake error, meaning that's one huge step forward in terms of Xbox progress to making Warzone playable. That's not to say they fixed everything, but that was a huge barrier and a huge issue that did seem to be fixed because of this initial season two delay. So that's good news there. That's promising news that we are progressively seeing a better and better state of the game. But obviously we've got the global issues tab, which is pretty lengthy. So starting down here at the bottom, this issue started on December 8th, by the way, and is still going on, which is kind of ridiculous. Artifacting. Uh, some players are experiencing visual inconsistencies with weapons and operators. That is essentially the demon glitch, the transformer glitch, as other people call it, where your weapons are appearing as like these spiky blobs. We've had this back on Verdansk. It's been an issue for a long time, and it resurfaced here on Caldera specifically for console, and it's been an issue for months. There's also issues with your weapons not rendering in and not loading in where you're, they're just invisible for 20 30 seconds at a time it's still being investigated but because it's on this trello board and has been here for so long it is a priority on their list and season two should finally almost two months later introduce a fix to this which is a big big issue there's also issues with voice chat players are encountering an issue when attempting to communicate across platforms so pc to playstation or pc to xbox xbox to playstation whatever it may be there's a lot of voice chat issues there so that's something they're also working on the whole xp issue with the top secret contracts i believe was fixed in a previous update i'm not sure why this is still listed under the global issues because they're definitely back in the game right now uh the buy station's freezing Raven actually tweeted out a few days back saying, hey, we made a lot of progress in fixing this issue for some players, but it's not a global fix yet. They are still working on this, but uh, that is another issue that, again, at the latest with the Season 2 update, should finally have a full resolution and should be completely fixed 
it's been going on for quite some time since before January 4th when it says that this was started. This was a big issue. Uh, but yeah, it has been partially fixed and ideally you're not running into it as much right now but it's not fully fixed it will still happen and they've acknowledged that so expect this again to be fixed with the season 2 update uh weapon models players may observe that some vanguard weapons are missing pieces of their model and certain attachments uh, aren't showing up either again another thing that's been here for a while not the biggest game breaking issue compared to you know your weapons literally being invisible but it is something that they're working on uh inverting your mouse on console also is not always working so that's another small issue that is definitely uh there not necessarily their biggest priority but something they are aware of invisible skins another thing that's been mentioned multiple times we fixed the one that had the tier 100 skin glitch that was going on for quite some time they went ahead and made an update for that after weeks of it being a problem that was fixed but then right after that got updated a new series of skins became invisible in game where it's just that same head and no body. So it's a lot harder to spot them or track them at a distance. That is another one that's at the top of their priority list. So ideally it's going to be fixed with season two at the latest. Again, I keep saying at the latest because it's very possible we do see these changes happen in the coming days as we see these weekly updates go out. And then the last two on the global issues are probably the two biggest issues that we've got in Warzone right now. PlayStation performance. We're investigating various performance related issues on PlayStation and same deal, but on Xbox as well. And that goes for PS4 and PS5 and Xbox Series X and Xbox One and also the Series S as well. Every single console right now is borderline unplayable. Some players don't run into issues as often as others. Other players can barely start the game now after getting past the gold flake error and getting into a game where they're, uh, you know, running into invisible guns. There's insane lag spikes or frame drops. The whole 120 hertz option still is not fully working on Xbox. On PlayStation, it works some of the time, but on Xbox, it was basically removed unintentionally with the Caldera update. It was glitched and uh, basically disabled. So anyone who was playing with 120 hertz prior to uh, Caldera, so on Verdansk or anything like that, had that taken away, which is a huge issue. It's, there's like no reason to be playing on Series X over Xbox One if you're still on 60 hertz, right? So that's just a handful of the Xbox and PlayStation issues. It really comes down to the game barely working, like it's the minimum working, things not rendering, and again, frame rate issues, lag spikes, high pings, packet burst, all sorts of stuff like that. Again, at the top of their priority list in season two, because of this delay and because they've had this extra two weeks now to strictly dedicate this to specifically looking at these issues and fixing them for a polished product, the expectations are there. These should be issues that are fixed by season two some of the caldera specific issues also are the whole uh, exploitable spots or glitch spots in the map we've talked about this every single time there's patch notes this is something they literally fix with every single update they find new glitch spots they fix those then somebody finds a new one they fix that and it's just a cycle that continues on until you know a couple of months down the road maybe we don't see that anymore then there's also still xp issues going on with plunder and even sometimes in rebirth those are always uh sort of ongoing i guess you could say they're working on those as well one thing i do want y'all to keep in mind is that like I said at the start, this is not every single issue they're looking at. Obviously, they don't specify certain things that we talked about with the Xbox issues or with the PlayStation issues. Other problems in-game uh, that happen here and there. Not every single update is listed on the Trello board. This is just the things that they've recognized publicly saying, hey, we know this is an issue. We've gotten a lot of feedback about this. It's going to be fixed. We're investigating it. A fix is scheduled or a fix was released, whatever the case may be. So season two is going to bring a lot of game changing updates and a lot of fixes to Warzone. Is it going to finally make it playable? That's the end goal, right? That's the, uh, you know, main reason that season two was delayed in the first place. So hopefully by then, when, once that update goes live and we got those patch notes and we cover those in a video, we can finally look and say, hey, Everyone now is going to be able to experience Caldera, experience the Pacific updates, and have a solid experience with that. It's not going to be something that becomes a chore or a frustration because you try and play it, you get your squad mates all on and ready, and then your game's crashing, you're disconnecting, you're on 15 FPS, you can't see your guns, whatever it may be. There's a lot of things that need fixed. The Trello board has most of them listed, and Season 2 looks to be that promising end date of when things should finally start working as intended and the game should be a lot more smooth by that point. Obviously, as we get any new information on any new updates, any of these things being changed, any new things being added, we're going to cover that here on the channel. So stick it here for that alongside everything else going on in COD. But with all that being said, that is going to wrap things up for today. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know by dropping a like on it. But once again, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy. Have an awesome rest of your day. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.